I'm Mark. I have worked in the motorcycle industry for over 15 years. I have ridden and raced for most of my life. I, I love adventure, especially Baja, Mexico. This, that's Baja George. He's have over 35 years experience down in Baja. And this time, we're gonna take you with us. Hi. On this episode of Baja Diaries, we take a brand new razor to Mexico. Let's see what happens. Baja is full of surprises. On this day, we ran into a guy named Mick, an Australian transplant now living in San Diego. Mick told us he comes down here by himself, so we gave him the name Crazy Mick. Within a few minutes, I knew Mick was the real deal. This guy planned on riding 400 miles that day, and it was still morning. He's the kind of guy, like others, who just don't want to be off their motorcycle. They just want to ride and ride and ride. So we opened up a couple waters and Mick told us where he was from, what he does for a living, you know, the usual stuff that we talk about on the trail with strangers. I like that uh, XR you got there. What do you like about that bike? I could go from here to Cabo right now and not have a care in the world. I mean, I literally could start this thing and, and fuel up anywhere with any type of gas, whether it's out of a fish camp or a Pemex, and it'll it'll run all day long. It's heavy, it's a pig, but you know, stuff like this, you're third, fourth gear all day long. And it's Mick was getting me all fired up on the Honda 650R. It just was a matter of time before I got mine. It was a matter of 10 minutes and Mick said he had to get going. And just like that, he hit the road. We were going to meet up with Mick later that night at Coyote Cows. back there but I got nailed I don't know if you could see this but I got nailed by a wasp or a bee oh. and that was at I think like 65 70 miles per hour that was pretty stupid it hurts like hell can't, can't see it though Right here, handle for hold my phone. 
We showed up at Coyote Cal's at 4 in the afternoon. Crazy Mick showed up at 9.30 at night. He told us how he just zigzagged all over the Baja Peninsula and then back up to Coyote Cal's. He just wanted to get beat up, is what he told us. The crazy thing about him is, he has no stories. When I asked him about any crazy situations or stories he could tell, he said he had none. Zero. The owner of Coyote Cow says he's the luckiest man in Baja, having nothing ever happen to him. No breakdowns, no sticky situations. We loved him. His plan for the next day was to ride up to Ensenada and eat ceviche, which he's been craving for the last week. You guys catch fish? Did you catch fish? Yeah. yeah. We went out uh, right here. Yeah, catch nice. over here. Not on the beach. On the beach, oh, not many oh. fish. So we, two of us, took one uh, charter boat. Uh -huh. They one boat they charge two fifty. And huh. uh, otherwise. Do you, do you have a fish in there? Yeah, we, Can I see them? Oh, okay. These guys were suspicious of me asking about their fish. Check out the guy in the pink shirt. He seems to be in a hurry to get out of there. Not knowing who I am or what I was doing there, all I was asking is what kind of fish they caught. Curious fellows. <laughs> That's good, as long as you guys had fun. You need some butter with that? Have a little waffle with your butter, buddy. <laughs> um, you want to hear something crazy, they pop lit up in LA too, that, that food waste will pop. Okay, Tres Ojomanos. I gotta head up into this canyon all the way to the top of that ridge right there. And it's just gonna be rocks and gnarliness. Mexico there's rocks like icebergs and they hide in the sand but this one right here and uh, for if you're riding for hours your mind wanders and you don't pay attention and then your bike ends up there and you end up right there that's Baja tip of the day right there, iceberg rocks.
So tune in next time on Baja Diaries as we hunt and find a classic Honda XR650R, which is the king of Baja. It's the bike to have down here, and I'll show you why.